Hi everyone, uh, today I'd like to talk a little bit about um, working with a sketchbook and working specifically with pen and ink. Um, I've, I know that, that a lot of people look at, um, whenever they want to work on uh, with a sketchbook, they want to use pencil because pencils are erasable. But uh, recently, uh, these pens, these are friction pens, F-R-I-X-I-O-N. You can get these friction pens, they come in all shapes and sizes. Pilot is the company that makes them. The friction pen is, uh, is basically a gel roller ball type pen. And the special thing about the way that this pen works is that it's erasable. Um, the way that it erases, not with an, a, an ablative eraser. Ablative erasers are traditional erasers, which, um, you know, they, they got those little eraser poops. You know, when you erase, um, the eraser disintegrates and it carries away the ink or the, uh, the pencil. In this case, this one is a non-ablative eraser. It's, it's simply frictional. So the, the heat buildup from, you know, rubbing this across the paper, you know, that, that slight heat change is what um, disintegrates the dye. It, it basically causes the dye to um, to change color. It causes it to become clear or white. So what happens is your ink is not really disappearing. It's not being lifted off. What's happening is the gel ink is simply becoming colorless when you use a friction pen and you try to erase it. Now, how this applies to things like fountain pens is that I can do an underdrawing with this friction pen, you know, and will look kind of like this. It's I've chosen the uh, red or orange ink. I'm using a brown ink in my uh, fountain pen because uh, I, I want the two colors to look different. Um, and then, um, you know, so I will draw on top of it with a fountain pen. So this is also a, a fountain pen made by Pilot. Um, specifically, it's made by Pilot and Namiki. Namiki is the, um, the the name of the founder of the Pilot company. So basically, Namiki is a division of Pilot that makes their fine pen. So this is the Pilot Capless or Vanishing Point fountain pen. I wonder if I can get that in focus. But anyway, um, very nice uh, fountain pen that I that I like a lot. It's refillable. Uh, I've got a converter on it, so I can use um, I can use bottle ink, and I can just I can easily refill that, and whenever it empties out. Um, the, the pens themselves are disposable. They should be pretty cheap. Maybe $3 would be about as expensive as they get. You know, you can probably get them for cheaper if you buy them by the pack. And um, yeah, you know, so I can do, you know, like a, a, a sketch like this, you know, then I can work on top of it with the fountain pen. And then afterwards, what I use is I use a torch lighter. And torch lighters, again, they come in many different shapes and sizes. You can get them from, you know, Active Surplus uh, in Toronto, or if you want, you can find, like, surplus stores will have them. Survival stores will have these. Cigar stores as well. This is a very cheap one that's maybe $10. And it's just a torch lighter. And, um, you know, this one probably holds a lot of butane. Uh, you, again, it's refill refillable, so you just take the tank of butane and you uh, fill them up. And uh, this is this one is a is a maybe a, a nice nicer one that I got from a cigar store. This is a, a Zico. Um, this is a Zico brand um, uh, torch lighter as well. And I find this one a little more reliable. And because it's got this gun like shape, um, rather than using say a traditional Zippo lighter, you can't use a Zippo lighter because um, regular flames just go straight up and they go away from your page. Whereas a gun like um, torch lighter and and not like those uh, stormproof um, wind windmill lighters, I can I can just shoot this. See that? And I can, I can erase the ink and just use it in little bursts. So hang on, I, I gotta, uh, yeah, it's kind of hard for me to do it while looking through the uh, screen. And if you just do it in little bursts, you can erase the ink and it leaves behind the pen lines. Uh, it leaves behind your fountain pen lines. So, you know, this is, this is great because now you can use pens, um, you know, you can use, you can use fountain pen and you can use the friction pen to do your your work use the friction pen for your underdrawing and then you can use the fountain pen you know to clean it up and the pen, the fountain pen is the stuff that's permanent it doesn't it doesn't go away i mean you can bleed it with a, a water brush but um i mean it's just it, you can get some really really nice clean drawings now you know and, and there's just um because i'm using a torch lighter it's touchless i don't wind up smudging the ink um you know the, the ink itself from both the fountain pen and the friction pens dry very quickly um, the problem with sketchbooks and graphite is that the, the ink tends to migrate. Um, you know, when, when you're tossing sketchbooks around your bag, the, uh, the, the graphite just starts to come apart and uh, it doesn't scan very well. I find pen scans a lot better than, um, than graphite does. And, uh, you know, the other thing with the friction pen is again, it, it by itself will pretty much last, you know, a good long time. Um, I mean, it is sensitive to say throwing it in your car and, you know, on a really hot day. Um, it may begin to fade. Um, you know, if you put it in, in a freezer at like negative 10 degrees Celsius, it will actually cause the ink to come back. So, um, you know, the, the fountain pen is just what I do to kind of fix it down and make the final drawing. 
So anyway, um, hope you uh, enjoy this little uh, little inform I don't know infomercial. Well, anyway, uh, take care and uh, have fun.